All right, guys, it's Naki here with a quick tutorial video for you. Uh, so basically, I've been having loads of issues with my Elgato Camlink 4K. Uh, I have a DSLR camera connected to this at the moment. And whilst I was streaming on Twitch, the picture kept freezing. And I did find ways to resolve this problem uh, on the internet. Now, the way that I actually resolved it, uh, I couldn't find anywhere on the internet. So hopefully, my way of solving it will fix it for a lot of people, but the two ways that I'm going to show you will hopefully fix it for like 90% of people. And the, the the one way that I managed to fix it for my personal setup with a, a Ryzen 5950 and a, a, a ROG Crosshair V3 Hero motherboard uh, was something to do with the PCI Express setup. So we'll, we'll uh, I'll run through that in a sec. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the two simple ways to fix it that will fix it for the majority of people and then I'll show you my way. Okay, so first of all, you want to be uh, you want to be going to your power settings. So press your, let me get the taskbar over here. So you want to be pressing your Windows key and then search for control panel. And then you want to go to, uh, if you search for power, top right. And then change your power saving settings. Okay, you'll come to this screen here. Uh, so whatever plan you have enabled, I do recommend you go with a high performance, by the way, especially if you're streaming. Uh, whatever plan you have uh, ticked here, uh, just click change plan settings, okay? Then go to change advanced power settings. Okay, and you'll see an option down here uh, called USB settings, okay? So click the, uh, double click this, then double click USB selective suspend setting. Okay. Now this wants to be disabled. So there'll be a drop down box and you can disable this. Now what this does is it stops uh, Windows essentially trying to save power. Like this would be quite useful on a laptop, but on like a desktop PC, it's fucking pointless. But you want to make sure that is selected as disabled. Okay. That's the first thing you need to do. Now the the second thing you need to do is a little bit, it's a little bit more annoying. What you need to do is you need to go to your device manager. So press your Windows key on Windows 10, device manager. Okay. Now you want to be going down to your uni uh, universal serial bus controllers. Okay. Now, all the different hubs, it'll say hub. You want to be double clicking, go to power management and make sure this is unticked. You have to do this for every single one as well because you don't know which hub is for which USB uh, connections. So make sure this is unticked on all of them, okay? So as you can see on mine, they're all, all unticked. Okay. Now, once you've done that, probably restart your computer and try again. If the issue is resolved, that's great. If if not, there is one more thing you can try. Now, I only found this out the other day. Um, I have a Asus uh, Crosshair V3 Hero motherboard. It's a PCI Express 4 motherboard. Okay, now what I had enabled was obviously PCI Express 4. I wanted to run with the top settings and stuff. So I had PCI Express 4 enabled in BIOS. And... Games and stuff are running absolutely fine. Uh, but my camera would just keep freezing and I, I, would just, I was getting so pissed off of it. And I just could not understand why. So basically, I, I was changing settings left, right. I was popping out the USB, USBs and trying different ports and stuff. I tried all of that. Nothing worked. The only thing that fixed it for me was disabling PCI Express 4 and basically forcing my graphics card to run on PCI Express 3. I'll be honest with you, I don't know why this solved the problem going from PCI Express 4 to PCI Express 3. Why would it affect a DSLR camera that's connected via, via that? I don't know, but it fixed it for me. So if you are if you are on a PCI Express 4 motherboard, try running, running it at PCI Express 3 speed times 16, always times 16. And uh, yeah, hopefully that solves your problem. And... Uh, Yep, if it does solve your problem, post in the comments down below. 
And if it doesn't solve your problem, still post it in the comments down below and I'll try and uh, I'll try and help you. All right, guys. Take care. Much love. Bye.